This morning, the family who is suing Simon Property Group after the Greenwood Mall shooting two years ago is speaking with us. One father says he worries for other family safety. Our Gina Glaros is live in Greenwood this morning with more on the lawsuit and Gina, what we're hearing from one family. Good morning. That father says his two girls still aren't the same after they were inside during the time of that shooting here at Greenwood Park Mall and it is still very difficult to talk about. Now, Samuel Stewart says that his daughters were in the food court while their mom was coming to meet them on July 17th, 2022. Seconds later, a gunman opened fire. Kaya Stewart, now 23, was shot multiple times and bullets nearly missed her younger sister. The two survived, but their whole family is left struggling with trauma. Getting a phone call out of, out of the blue with the three words from my wife screaming, Kay has been shot, is something that I would never dream of my daughter experiencing or my wife even saying. The family and their attorney are now suing Simon Property Group and security company Allied Universal, saying the companies failed to prevent the shooting and failed to provide security. According to the lawsuit, no guards were in the food court when the shooting happened and no one checked the bathroom where the gunman was for more than an hour. We have asked Simon Property for comment this morning. We still have not uh, received comment back. Also, that security company, Allied Universal, says it does not comment on pending litigation. Karen and Julia, coming up at 6.30, you're going to hear from the family attorney who says security is at risk at this mall and at other malls because of after multiple incidents at these malls at Simon. That's coming up at 6.30. Thank you, Gina.